ugitiri wa thaini a professor kithura kindiki ni ugeti ati matirasho kana dhudha ari gushokia muho ko ruhonge inirwa uthami akiaria dhudha wa gwikinya umuthi wa afishine nene shia ruhonge aruru uthori mamihango kindiki ni ugeti ati thina munene ukoretwo ari ugumania aruhonge inirwa akihita ukorwa kingithanira na ari amagikoretwo makinyita migwate utugata ruhonge ini aruru oho augeti ati thika kana ahogo augeti ati dhudha wa thiko 18 ni makorwo matahe makana makorwo methete kihonia kia thina keo kiria gikoragwo icungiririo ni gwikururia kwa uheani wa maratathi ma kwigwatira uraiya hamwe na dhama kana nicio acitagwa a passport that the public perceptions about our services here have not been very good in the last few weeks. We have been challenged. All of us have been challenged. We want now to turn the story around. This place is going to be the most efficient service delivery point, not just in our ministry, but also we want to strive to be number one across the public sector. So we still have a journey to cover. We have not fully addressed the production issue. Our production of passports is still below the demand. We will bring normalcy by first addressing the entire backlog. And once the backlog is uh, completely removed, we will stick to the directive that I gave in February, which is every applicant of a passport must receive it within seven working days. Number two, although there is some progress, we are not yet there. Number three, the policy changes we have made here are going to be permanent. We are not going to have a rollback again. There are two problems here, two challenges. One was the challenge of technology and production. That is what was hurting service delivery here. The second challenge was the challenge of corruption. And we don't want to mince our words about that. The only caveat we want to place is that the issues of bribery, solicitation, and corruption involved very few people here and many of them are members of the public who are pretending to be our officers but they are just brokers from town and criminals long-standing security challenges will apply the same energy the same vigor in the fight against cartels and corrupt people who have been trying to use their space to frustrate the people of Kenya. Uh, to get there, now.